Hey, Torlando here, education coordinator and uh, owner of Craftsman Painter, here to bring you a educational moment. Um, today, I'd like to talk about sprint goals. So you you're probably familiar with uh, you know smart goals. Those pretty tried and true format, and uh, truth be told, this rips it off almost entirely. But because I wrote a book called Sprint, I figured I'd I'd uh, modify it to to fit the you know fit the sprint letters so basically when we're creating goals we want to create goals that have clear specifications that are performance based that are reachable um, that that have some level of importance to them that they're meaningful um, they're they're narrow in their scope and they're time bound okay so for the purposes of let's say bni um, let's go through an example of what a sprint goal would look like starting starting with the specifications right so let's say because um, we're in a new chapter we want to increase chapter membership by 25 percent by conducting targeted outreach to professionals in key industries so here we have made clear specifications about what we want our goal to be and uh, what our, our essential essentially what our strategy is going to be but now we have to make this performance driven and so we want to introduce uh, KPIs, key performance indicators, as well as um, performance drivers that'll help us uh, lead to that goal. You know, the goal of 25% is an outcome. It's what we would call a lag measure. And we want to create the activities and things that are in our scope or in our control, um, activities that we would call lead measures. And so these are going to be those things that are considered our KPIs, considered our performance drivers. So we'll track KPIs like number of visitors per month, uh, visitors to, to member conversion ratio, um, the member referral rate, okay, those are, those are kind of the outcomes, uh, you know, lag measures again. But the, the performance drivers are the things that we're in control of. So our performance drivers will center around targeted outreach by industry, um, giving focused attention to visitor experience, um, streamlining our onboarding experience and including all members in engagement efforts. So you see that those performance drivers are really things that we can control and the KPIs are the things that come of it, right? So we want to look at that activity to um, outcome uh, you know, flow. We want to see the, the activities that we engage in leading to successful outcomes. Now, this is an example. Every great goal setting session is a collaborative effort. And so, uh, you know, members of the of the group would want to come up with these goals together in a team format. Okay, so let's go over the reachable. Uh, the reachable aspect is uh, really about making sure that our goals are realistic, manageable. Um, they should stretch us a little bit, but if they're too pie in the sky and not realistic, um, we're just going to give up pretty pretty easily and pretty early on those. And so the best way to figure out if your goal is reachable is to evaluate your past performance. How long did it take for us to get to where we're at now? If it took a year to get to 16, then we average 1.33 members per month. And so a 25% increase would be four new members. And so we have to ask ourselves, is that attainable, right? I think that probably is, right? That might be a little light. Uh, so, so we always want to make sure that our, our goals are reachable and the best way to figure out if they're reachable is to evaluate our past performance. Then we look at the importance of the goal. Is this importance, right? So, so in this BNI example, um, increasing our membership is important because larger chapters distribute more referrals. When you engage in bringing in referral partners that align with your industry, the better you'll have a better chance at getting um, referrals that, that uh, impact your business and thereby growing your business, right? Through referrals. So think about this. Whose current customer is my next customer, right? That's how, uh, that's how we measure the importance of this. Is it going to have significant impact in my business, right? That's why we would contribute to the greater goal of what our BNI chapter is doing. Next, we have the narrow, right? We, wanna, we want our goals to be focused. Right? Get focused around those key industries. Uh, what are they? Who do most of your referrals come from? Um, you know, riches are in the niches. And so what does it look like to, to find a, a chapter niche? You know, will, will creating those more narrow specific goals help us in the long run, right? 
if we get into a place where we where our, our goals are too broad or they're all over the place or we're trying to appease too many people all at once, um, the, the goal is, is way too broad um, and we're just not going to achieve it. So um, you know, the best thing that we can do is narrow the focus in and realize that some of the other goals that might not fit this, you know, this sprint, this, this period, we can always attack them later. We can always get to them later. But right now we're going to focus on this one and make sure that we've, uh, we've really nailed it. Last, we've got time bound. So <clears throat> looking at that past performance again, we see that we uh, should achieve 25% growth within about three months, right? That's four new members, should take us about four months to uh, three months to get there. And so we have to ask ourselves, should we up the ante? Should we go for a one month goal, two month goal, right? <clears throat> should we stay on track? Um, you know, should we take a breath and, and pat ourselves on the back for making it to the launch and, and, and set a six month goal? To reach this next milestone right and then what two week achievements can we make to build up to the bigger goal right you set that time uh you you you, you go after it you, you look at all these things when you look at them in aggregate you're going to say okay we can really we can really make a stab at this we can really get it and when we finish oh happy day we're going to celebrate because we uh we achieve victory we reach our milestone and we've made it to the next level as a chapter. So whether we're doing these, uh, using these sprint goals in, um, in our BNI chapter, or we're doing them in our own business, um, you know, the, the, they are a tried and true method for, um, you know, for, for goal setting. And part of the reason why I wanted to set, uh, set us off with this, with this, you know, uh, educational format is because goal setting is integral to, um, to achieving the things that you desire. And uh, it's 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 proven. It's uh, tried and true. And and if you do it, you'll achieve success, and you'll have impact in in your business, and you'll have impact in the business of those of us around you. Thank you.